What is up Washington fans? Well, welcome back to another video here on the Washington Football Maniacs YouTube channel. My name is Greg Sykes. If you're new here, thank you for joining us. If you don't mind, please consider subscribing to this channel. And when you do, make sure you hit that notification bell so you'll never miss another video release here on the Washington Football Maniacs channel. So in this video, let's talk briefly about off-season expectations. Now, uh, we're we're not going to talk about the actual team per se. Let's talk about the front office stuff. Now, I've, I've seen a lot of um, chatter, I guess, on, on Twitter and other social media uh, platforms talking about ownership and specifically what the new ownership or the likely new ownership is going to do in terms of Ron Rivera. And a, a lot of ownerships talking about, or a lot of, um, I should say, a lot of fans are talking about, you know, the new ownership will probably likely clean house once they take control. Um, but here's why that's not going to happen, folks, because um, the timing that the changeover is going to happen at this point, um, even if the new ownership takes over and you know, the, the deal is done this month, which we heard back a few months ago that that was the likely scenario that a deal would get done in this month that <clears throat> the vote to vote this new owner in would likely not happen until the owner's meeting in March when the new league year starts. Because of that, you would not see a change in coaching staff because for one thing that would be that would be a horrible time to fire your entire coaching staff because you're right in the middle of you know preparing for free agency uh you know for obviously your coaching staff and your scouting uh, your scouting has been um involved with uh, the the college stuff you know, the scouting with all of that, uh, you're getting prepared for the draft, all of this stuff, you know, this is, this would be the worst time ever. If you're going to, if you're going to fire a coach, you either fire a coach in the middle of the season or you fire a coach at the end of the season, right as soon as the season ends, you fire the coach. That way, you have the entire offseason to find another coach that gives that new regime a chance to install all of their coaching staff, to get a plan together, to look at the players that are on the team, to you know, be able to have a chance to look at guys that they want to draft, the guys that they want to bring in for free agency, all of that. You don't fire a coaching staff in March. That's not going to happen. I am probably 110% sure that's not going to happen. And if that does happen, then you would start to question the sanity of the new ownership because obviously they would not understand how things work in the NFL. So saying all of that, let's put to rest any of this stuff about new ownership coming in and cleaning house right away. That's not going to happen. We're going to have Ron Rivera for the 23 season. Now, it will remain to be seen if we have him throughout the entire season if – things start to go south like they did, you know, in the last couple of seasons where we start off real poorly and, you know, again, it's kind of one of these roller coaster seasons. But we were not we're not going to start the season without Ron Rivera. Uh, we will have Ron Rivera. We will have now we question is will Ron Rivera get rid of Scott Turner. That is one that we all feel in agreement and maybe even some of the players as well in offense that 
Scott Turner needs to go. Now, that is one change that I think that definitely Ron Rivera needs to make. Now, will he make that change? Uh, that will, we'll have to see. You know, one thing I did mention about that was if, <clears throat> if Sean McVay happens to step down or, or get booted out of L.A., as the Rams head coach, and as of this video, of the making of this video, that has not happened yet. But if that did happen, and he's not seeking a head coaching position, which I would find it odd uh, that nobody would want to pick him up as head coach, um, but if he decided to take a step back for a year, I would drop Scott Turner like a hot potato and I would pick up Sean McVay as quick as I possibly could and bring him back as an offensive coordinator ASAP uh, because he would certainly help to develop uh, Sam Howell or whoever the quarterback's going to be, uh, the QB1 next year. But most importantly, we would have a much fluid, much better fluid offense. Now, I'm probably dreaming on that. But that would be the absolute best case scenario we can have. Um, but that would definitely be a change that I think needs to happen as far as coaching staff goes next year. But you're not going to see a, a complete clean of the house um, when new ownership takes place. It's just because of the timing, uh, because once that everything has been solidified, it's just not going to happen uh, because... New ownership's officially not going to take over until March. And so by that point, things have already started in the new league year. You're just going to have to let the new uh, the existing coaching regime do their thing for this year, hope for the best, and then you bring in your guys toward the end of the 23 year. So I hope that, hope that kind of clears things up a bit on – new ownership and or the likely of uh, likeliness of the new ownership i know we still haven't really heard anything official on that yet but it sounds like it's likely um and the relationship of how that's going to affect ron rivera in the 23 season uh, let me know what you think in the comments section uh, like this video please share it with others help the algorithm out help a brother out here and until next time folks uh, left hand up. Uh, let's go, Maniacs. Hey, you stayed until the very end. Thank you so much. Watch another one right now.